what have I learned and what have I done to maintain and do my best to keep the mentality of I will figure it out. It is something that I have spent a lot of time and a lot of energy and a lot of money even trying to figure out and through life and through each obstacle and through each each you know success and each failure in my life I'm constantly looking at what I can do better so I'm really really excited about sharing with you guys what I've learned um, for those of you who don't know who I am I'm Nina Concepcion and please feel free to comment share ask questions down below and I will make sure that I get around to um, asking your questions and make sure you say hi let me know who it is that's there so I can say hi hi Jason always on my lives I love it um, Jason if you have any questions or anything you want to share I know that you've been on this path for a little while as well so please feel free to share your own experience and if you feel like I've missed anything and anything else you want to add value just feel free to add it down below so right into it Step number one, the one of the biggest things I have found for me is developing my own self-awareness. And for all the nudie members out there, you know, we touched on this for module two, what is self-awareness? It's being able to observe yourself outside of yourself and see what's going on with you rather than being so consumed in your story. Because what happens when we have self-awareness and when we can start to become conscious of what's going on unconsciously and and we start becoming aware of our habits and the things we do automatically, what happens is we can actually start to see and observe our own expectations. Hi, guys! Because when we can start to see our own expectations, not just on other people but on ourselves as well, we can actually start seeing and observing our mentality. So, for example, um, many of you know that I've just spent the last – three months figuring out this membership that I've just launched. I've literally spent almost every single day, all day trying to figure out this new system. And there were so many obstacles with the banks to videos, to data, um, to laptop memory and phone memory. There's so many obstacles that's going to happen. And the thing is, regardless of whatever it is you're doing, when you can learn to observe what your mentality is, you can start to actually see, is this empowering you or is it not? Hi, Amy. And when you start to see whether or not it is empowering for you or when it's not empowering for you, you can start making conscious decisions as to your mentality. Now, at the moment, I'm listening, oh, I'm actually going through one of Shalane Johnson's courses. She's a social media expert. And something she says is, if you just have this mentality of constantly trying to, not even trying, when you have the mentality of I will figure this out, then you will get through those obstacles and you will figure it out. Something that she touched on as well and something that I learned in real estate is the fact that the more you're willing to fail, the faster you're going to achieve whatever it is that you want because we, we all – have a bit of a fear with failing but the thing is the people who fail the most are the people who learn the most and the people who fail the most are the people who have more experience and they know what works and what doesn't simply because they've attempted more than others when we get so caught up in not wanting to make a mistake or wanting to be perfect all the time and we're not willing to make mistakes the thing is we don't actually move forward and we don't actually grow and for those of you I know that many of you especially you know Jason and Amy, I know you guys are leaders and whenever you decide to step up and whenever you decide to step more into your own power and embrace what it is you're here to do, there's going to be more obstacles that come up because if you just stay in your comfort zone, then obviously you're not going to have as much growth as you will moving into other elements of your awareness and actually getting outside your comfort zone. So the more you can expect that there will be obstacles and you just come from a place of, I will figure this out, it's going to be a lot easier on yourself when things don't go according to plan. And I know for me, it's something that I've definitely had to practice, especially in the last few months. There's been so many things happening and so many obstacles that 
I didn't realize I had to learn and have to overcome that it, it does get overwhelming and it does get hard, but that's why it's so important to surround yourself with people who support you and that who re- and who remind you who you are. And again, people who also have self-awareness and then they can see what's going on with you and explain it to you and show you if it's what you choose. And so the third thing, this is my little thing that I do, is I put my, a little reward for myself. So for example, if um, I was trying to figure out um, how to upload a video to my platform and it was, I had to watch the tutorials and then I had to figure it out and then I had to upload it and then I had to upload it again, upload it again because there were so many problems. I said to myself, all right, at the end of the day, for example, I'm going to eat popcorn or I'm going to see my partner. Even if it's something that I might have already had planned, knowing that, or if I just change in my mind that it's a reward for me, then it gives me that little bit more motivation to do whatever it is I know I have to do or to plug through and to just build up the strength to keep going because it it doesn't actually matter whether or not you were going to do it in the first place because the thing is we're going to live the life that we want to live. But if we can change our perception and see it as a reward instead of something that, um, you know, life doesn't owe us anything. If we see what we get, and be grateful for it and use it as a reward for us to continually move forward, I found for me that that's really worked, even if I'm probably going to do it anyway. So if I think I'm going to have peanut butter, something with peanut butter, because I know my partner loves peanut butter. If we're going to have peanut butter with, um, you know, organic chicken and rice and vegetables tonight, and I really, I'm craving peanut butter, I'll say to myself, I'm just going to do this first. And then I'm going to have an amazing dinner or then I can relax and I can not look at work for the next few hours because it's just about changing that mentality and moving towards a reward. So in summary, the first one is having self-awareness to be able to see your own expectations and maybe your unreasonable expectations on yourself. The second one is expect to fail and change your relationship to failure. It's all a learning curve. Everything that you are learning or every obstacle is actually an opportunity for you to be able to learn more about yourself in order for you to get to that next level. And sometimes I think we forget that. And the third thing is have something as a reward for yourself so that when things are getting really hard, have something to strive for so that you can reward yourself, even if it sounds really little. For me, I love my food. Many of you guys know that already. So it's something so simple and yet it drives me so much. I remember when I was in real estate, whenever we hit our um, quota every week, my boss would take us out to a free lunch every Friday. And something that he even said to me was, Nina, I don't know if you'd have the results you'd have if we didn't have lunch every Friday. It's because I just loved free food. I loved free lunch and not having to pay for my lunch. (laughs) So do you guys have any questions? I know Amy, Jason, or anything else that you want to share. Amy says, be grateful for the challenges too. A reminder from the video last week. Yes. Awesome. And, you know, for for you guys who are interested in becoming a nudie member, I did interview Amy on the last um, module from last month. So you'd get to know a little bit more about her as well. And I will be interviewing a new nudie member this month. So I will put the link down below. And again, for those of you who aren't watching live, Feel free to comment, share, ask questions. I do read all the comments and I'm wishing you guys an amazing and amazing and amazing January. I hope you got even one thing from this video and I will post another video, another live video in the next few days. Lots and lots and lots of love and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Bye.